It's a good fit. That's all that matters. Okay, bye. It's a good fit. It's good for springtime. It's good. it's really giving me springtime. Springtime and SD yeah, for yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is 21 outfits. I hate long intros, so I'm gonna try to make it really snappy for you guys. Um, but I pre-planned this because it seemed like when I whose video did I watch? I watched Emma's. I watched Chris Clemens. Fuck these fucking helicopters. And I watched Devin Lee Carlson's. And they seemed like they struggled very hard to get this done. So the Virgo placements in me jumped out and <laughs> anyways so they seem like they really struggled with this so i was like if you want to pan over to that i guess i don't know also my friend natalie's helping me film because every time i film by myself i have a full-on panic attack i don't want to do that what do we have here <laughs> wait oh, there we go i got it, I got it. <laughs> this is so bad yep it's all here it's we're all here folks um <laughs> Yeah, so let's do it, I guess. Let's do it. All right, here's the first outfit. This, um, I thought, you know, what if I was a pop star in the early 2000s? What would I wear to go grab? What do they do? Like, I never, they go shopping, They, they, they grab their, they grab their juices. Yeah, they grab their juices. <laughs> they do a little shopping on Fairfax, whatever the fuck. Like, they, I don't know. You know what I mean, though. But it was, like, kind of horrible. Like, why would you... If I went shopping on Melrose today, I would not wear this. I wouldn't. But I guess when you're, like, rich and famous, it doesn't really matter because they know you have money. Me spiraling. <laughs> Anyways, so what I decided to do... Let me look at myself again. Okay. So I did the Ed Hardy hat. This is uh, quintessential of the early 2000s. And then I did these to match the black together because I need something to match within the outfit or else I I physically am unable to do things, pretty much. Um, so I matched these together and I like thrifting these pants so much because they don't make pants like this anymore because all of them all like cuff at the bottom and I hate that. And I mean like I get it like aerodynamically <laughs> because I couldn't imagine running in these. Like, you would definitely trip on the pant. So maybe that's why they don't make them anymore, but I don't participate in running. So I will lounge. And then I have this, like, guest... Is it guest? Yeah. This guest jeans top, and I thrifted this as well. I'm so sorry. But I think it's cool. And I would not wear platform flip-flops if I wore this out. I would definitely wear sneakers, but I thought... For the fantasy, I will wear platform flip-flops and these like Christian Dior, let me get closer, this Christian Dior like knockoff sunglasses yes. and this little coach bag and that's the first fit. Let me know, Brittany, if you watch this, would you wear this? Let me know. Okay, this is like a complete pivot from the last outfit, but... Um, also, you will see this hat in multiple outfits because this is the hat of my summer. It doesn't have to be the hat of your summer, but it's the hat of my summer. Um, put the picture of Brett Michaels here. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I take all my fashion from, like, white men. Like, old white men. But, like, we need to reclaim it. it Natalie just nodded. So, that's, what I, that, that's all the validation I need. But let me walk you through this. Let's start from the top. So obviously the cowboy hat, um, you can get these like anywhere, like eBay, Depop and stuff. I didn't realize how expensive cowboy hats were. This was $25, but then I looked on Amazon and they're like $60 on Amazon. So I was like, whoa, this is investment piece. I went with these blue little earrings because it matches this. And I went with the red Playboy bag because it matches the red and the skirt see what I do there um I know that we're not like supposed to be fans of Justin Timberlake right now 
um but just like forget all that stuff and like let's go back to like the sex like feature love sounds album before he was like crazy was he crazy i think this was the time where the janet jackson stuff happened anyways let's pretend he didn't do that the album is great and i have sentimental value to it because i literally would carry around that album in my backpack in elementary school like why did i why did i have a copy of that album and why was i taking it to elementary school it's not like anybody was gonna let me play it anyways that was my tangent so i saw this and it was only ten dollars and i was like i love a good nostalgia buy sue me so i got it and here i am wearing it and then i bought this the same time not the same place but i got both of these from the long beach antique market and i like this because it's like super early 2000s like imagine someone who is taller than me and maybe like a little bit smaller wearing this low-waisted with like a little tiny like white tank top that is a fantasy that i wish i could fulfill but i would look silly so i tried it i already tried it guys like don't even try to act like i didn't try it like i definitely tried it but it just the skirt was literally like dragging on the ground it was not cute anyway so i then I finished it off with white cowboy boots to match the white in the skirt. And that's this fit. Okay, this is the next outfit. This is like a, a vintage Lucky Brand cardigan. I decided just to wear it as a top because I think it's cute. And I kind of like how my boobs are making it expand. Because like, you know how like new tops, they make it look like this on purpose? So this is me making it look like on purpose. <laughs> Cute. and then so because there's like a yellow tones in the cardigan i went with these mustard like trousers i have i also thrifted them and honestly like these are probably one of my favorite pairs of travel pants that i've i've had because it gives me like curves but it's not like i can't breathe so i do love these um i got these because um in the BTS Dynamite video, um, who was it? I think it was J-Hope who was wearing like mustard pants with like a stussy top or something. I'll put a picture. But then I saw these in the thrift like I think a few days after I watched the music video for the first time. And I was like, yeah, I need to get those. Must and they fit perfectly, so that's good. And then I just got these boots yesterday. They're Tommy Hilfiger um, and they're very comfortable. Well, so far, I don't know. And I went with this Dooney and Burke bag because I thought the colors in there matched it. And as well, like they add a, a couple more colors as well and gold jewelry. What earrings am I wearing? Oh, these earrings are from a small business, Lynn Earrings. We actually went to high school with her and she makes really sick handmade earrings. And I really like how they add to like the floral aspect. And this is also from a small business I can't remember the name of right now. This is for my men, the three men that are watching. Here's an outfit for you. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you guys. Um, I would say invest in like a Kangol hat. They have a bunch of different like styles. I personally am a fan of this style. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I'll look it up for you. That's what it's called. And I I feel like you can find them on eBay for pretty cheap and Depop pretty cheap. Um, get a color, maybe black, because that works well, or just any color that you feel like you have a lot of in your wardrobe. Or if you feel funky, like there's really cool purple ones out there. I want a purple one. So I would say get a fun hat. And then, dude, like 70s, like polo tops, y'all are really sleeping on them. Because look at this. This is like way better than any polo, like modern day polo that you can get because like these collars just look like way more flattering and they have things built into them that they won't like because you know sometimes like polos like flare up. Yeah, we don't want that. But these have things in them so they don't do that. And um, I think 70s clothes are just very flattering and the 70s are coming back. Because I feel like a lot of times fashion trends are more directed towards women, but I feel like men can participate in, participate in it too. And I feel like right now we're seeing a lot of 70s revival. So definitely head to a vintage shop and look at their 70s section because 
there's a lot of these out there or you can go on depop or ebay um and then a suit pant you can dress it up with a suit pant if you have like a hot day to post vaccination and you showed up looking like this i'm just telling you that girl will well it depends also on the girl or whoever you're dating but if i saw a guy show up to a date like this i'd be like whoa i would be floored because like no one dresses like this there are literally so many people that dress like this anyways one of my favorites is at ara the ho on tiktok especially if you um like to present more masculine they have a lot of great vintage fits great <laughs> i didn't put on shoes because i don't really have men's shoes but i would say like loafers would look really cool with this or like those um oxford shoes would look really cool with this um for me if i were to wear this out i'd probably wear these boots but this is for the three men that watch my videos so this is a full fantasy i wore this for like an hour but it was way too windy so i had to change so this will have its moment during the summertime that's all i have to say well i mean i'm still gonna say more because i always have more to say um i didn't put on shoes because the shoes that i want to wear are downstairs and i don't feel like retrieving them they're the golf lifter pink chub tailors there you go see it matches the pink poncho or i don't really know if that's like correct you know like it because i'm not too sure like ponchos cannot culture cannoli <laughs> I'm not sure if it's cannoli correct. <laughs> Cultural meaning. So I'm going to say the shawl. There we go. So this shawl, um, I thrifted, of course. And I'm, I know what you're thinking. She just copies Rich Caroline. Which, you got me there. But I remember her wearing the one in like a TikTok and I was like, literally, yeah, why are we not wearing ponchos? She's so right. And then literally... I'm telling you guys, you need to like verbalize what you want to find at the thrift and you'll find it because I think literally the day after I thrifted this and I've never really seen a shawl at the thrift before, not to my knowledge at least, or maybe it's just like one of those things where like you don't notice it until you're looking for it. I just wanted like these straight leg jeans, which for some reason have like a rip on the butt. I don't know when that happened. I mean, you can't really see it, but I will fix it up because these pants fit me so well. And then underneath, I just decided to go with this pink tank top. It's like that weird print that's really popular right now, but I think it's cool. Um, and these Hello Kitty earrings. They're little tiny Hello Kitties. And a pink little claw clip. They really just run home that early 2000s feel with the monogram, Ralph Lauren, little baguette bag. Okay, I've definitely already worn this outfit already, but to be fair, I've had this video planned for two months and I haven't just hunkered down and done it until now. So here's the picture. Go follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Anyways, it's so cute. I, I really love that. I think this is one of my favorite outfits that I've ever pulled in my life. I mean, to be fair, I didn't wear it with the, this bag and these shoes, so it's technically a new outfit. But I'm really a big proponent of wearing nightgowns outside because my mom's like, you know, you can see through that. And I was like, it's kind of a point because I got these bloomers thrifting and I just thought it would be like really cute because you can see them underneath. But I'm still like covered. You know what I mean? Um, but this is a really cute peach one. I got this for a dollar at the motherfucking swap meet, guys. Like, wow yeah wow a dollar it's mad cute and i got this bag at the swap meet as well for five dollars and these boots were a little bit more of a splurge but i've literally been wearing them all day because i just got them yesterday and what's the point of buying something if you're not gonna wear it like all the time you know what i'm saying um and the cowboy hat again and then this necklace right here is a the seller told me it was like a 70s necklace I literally saw it on the table, like, first thing, and I was like, what is that? I need that. Like, I was like, what's the price? Mm -hmm. I don't even care. Here, take my money. <laughs> like, I'm literally opening my purse as she's telling me. And then I got these Shop Zuck, like, earrings. I'll put a picture of them. 
so you can see them better but truly one of my favorite outfits I've ever pulled it's just mad cute and I probably will wear this again because I really feel so good and like confident in it and I feel like if you feel that way about an outfit you should absolutely rewear that because like who cares and more people will see it okay new trend what I'd wear if I were a groupie in the 70s anyways so let me walk you through this outfit um yeah I mean I mean it just serve I don't even think I need to explain no I will um I went with these like little flower clips in the front just to like add some dimension because like you know I felt like it was very plain on the top and then I went with this little like flowy and like ruffly it's kind of like 2000s does like 70s type of vibe I feel like I really love 2000s does 70s pieces so because I feel like that's just like my vibe in general if I were to describe myself that's how I would describe myself um and I really like how the collar pops out over the vest and the vest has cute little daisy detailings which match the clips and these pants are just uber long and uber flared at the bottom and I really like the piping because if you find piping on pants it'll always make your like legs look longer than they are just a pro tip and the white cowboy boots to tie back in to the white top and I really fucking love this fit it's definitely gonna be too hot to wear it for a while but once fall rolls back around best believe I will be wearing this fit but yeah cute and the cowboy hat and the Tommy boots return I can't breathe right now <laughs> okay so I have been wanting one of these tops for like ever look how fucking funny that is are you laughing because you should be <laughs> anyways I've been looking for one of these for a really long time but I feel like every time I find them they're so expensive but this was 20 bucks and I was like okay take take my money fine I'll, I'll spend 20 bucks but also I liked it because it wasn't like a bikini one it was like funny because it's Las Vegas I just think Las Vegas as a, like a idea is just so funny I don't know why but I thought it was cool and different and I like to be cool and different sometimes and then I did these white pants just because like so it can seem seamlessly fit into the illusion and I thought you know what would top off this outfit here a cowboy hat so it's giving me very much like spring break and TV Cancun like and I definitely would love to serve that energy and then the boots match the hat I love this outfit again I think I'll wear this this summer yeah okay I've worn this outfit already as well here's the picture to prove it um I wore this to the heaven or my Marc Jacobs like store opening because I saw that they had a blue rug and so I was like I will incorporate blue into my outfit but I think this is another one of my favorite outfits I've ever pulled just because like I think the hat is just so good it's one of my favorite hats next to the cowboy hat next to the cowboy hat <laughs> um and then this top I got from my friend she runs like an Instagram shop so go check her out super cute I love this and then the pants are lei and I thought it was cool to have like um because there's like different shades of blue on the top so I was like okay since there's different shades of blue in the top like I can just like whatever wear whatever blue bottoms and these are actually like low rise which made me very uncomfortable at first um I didn't wear them for such a long time because I was just like I don't know how to like do that but you know like I really do believe like when you wear things a couple times like even if it's just around your house you'll get more like acclimated to it and you'll be more like likely to wear out so that's my another pro tip and then I did the black boots in the bottom just like um put together all the black throughout the outfit and then the back of the shirt is black too so it's the little details that make a fit like elevated you know what I mean so yeah that's this fit okay so this one is a black and white look um I got this top off of Depop from this seller I think it's mad mess or like shop mad mess or something um super cute yes 
Um, and then I paired it with these satin pants because I just like, whenever I can, I like to add just another like texture or pattern, um, especially when this one is already like pretty bold because even if it's a plain item, if it's in a different um, fabric, it can still elevate the look, but just in like a more low key way. You know what I'm saying? And then I got these Mary Janes from Koi Footwear. Super cute. I If you are looking for Mary Janes, I highly recommend because they're not even that expensive and they're super cute. Um, and they come like in a bunch of different like, I don't know if fabrics is the right word, but like they have come in like, I got them in like patent leather, but you can get them in like smooth leather x like whatever and they have a cow print and stuff there's so many options and then for the bag i just went with this um me forgetting her name audrey hepburn little mini bag that i've actually never worn before this moment right now and then i got these hollywood earrings from laser kitten i love their jewelry it's so good and i went with these like hair clips just to add some spice to the top and yeah <laughs> okay this is another fit i've already worn but i like put it together for this video so i'm using it here's the instagram picture super cute right i wore it while i was selling um fun fact about me is i hyper fixate on things and i become obsessed with things and I must like find all of them. That brings me to these. So I have this top. It all started with this top, mind you. I found this in a thrift store and I've been looking for a top like this forever. And then I was like, oh my God, like I don't know how to style it though. Like what would I wear with it? And I remember seeing on Depop, somebody had like pants that had like this lace up detailing. And I was like, okay, I need to find bottoms that have this freaking lace up detailing. So I went on eBay and I found this one for like $14 and has like a tiny bit of it. I didn't want it to be like too intense. But however, I do want the pants that have the lace up all around the side. Like I think that'd be sick. But this is really cute. And I like the back too, like how the paneling is like all around. And then I found this jacket at the thrift store for $10. And I was like, wow. Yeah, I mean, of course I have to buy it. It's in my size. Like $10 isn't bad for like this type of jacket, especially because like, you know, it'd be so expensive resale. Um, and then I have this bag by Lolita Jade and like the pony material um, because this shirt gives me like Western vibes. Um, it's one of my favorite shirts that I own. I'm definitely gonna keep it forever. It's so sick. I found it for like $2. I know, it's crazy. And then I paired my dog martin like chelsea boots with it okay this is the next outfit um i've never worn this top i've had it since like august and i've just never known how to style it and i was like okay i need to style it or i need to get rid of it and this is me styling it i like it i think it's cute i like how the top i don't know if you can see but it's like um kind of like square it's cute it's like raw florin i think and I like how it's like color blocked and everything. And since there's like a lot of red in it, I have these pants that like match exactly. And then maybe I'll take like a B-roll video of the shoes, but on the shoes, it's like black boots, but like they have rainbow stitching on them. Um, so that's why I picked these ones because it's a cute little detail. And then there's purple blocking on this. So I went with purple little purple little hoops um and i love red and purple as a com color combination like it literally it's so good and i have this clear red purse and just checking to make sure i like it yes i very much like this and i will probably wear this eventually i don't know where whenever everybody's vaccinated maybe i'll wear it to like the bar or something here's the next outfit I don't want to put on Chuck Taylors because, you know, these bitches take a while to put on. So the burlap adds another texture to the fit because I feel like it's very, like, just solid. And I don't know why I just like adding, like, textures that don't necessarily need to be there. But I feel like in the grand scheme, people will be like, ah. Even if they don't tell you, they're thinking it. <laughs> That's what gets me through the day, you know. Um, and then I have these just, like... I feel like they're Lane Bryant, like they're just a kind of like flared 
brown pants. <laughs> they're pretty comfy. That's why I like them. Comfy, roomy. Um, yeah, they're very roomy. Like, I, like, if I feel bad about myself that day, I'll just throw these on because, like, and they're dark color, so, you know, it's just easy. And then this top I got at Heaven by Marc Jacobs. It's, like, the newest drop that they did. Um... <laughs> drippy um i like it because it's like reminiscent of 70s jerseys because that's how like they used to do it and i really like i don't think you definitely can tell but this is like raised it's kind of like puffy a little bit um i really like this because it's like chocolate brown and i don't think you see a lot of like chocolate type of brown things from coach very often and i feel like something you don't see often from coach either is like bandanas or like whatever because everybody's wearing like the baggers and stuff so yeah and i forgot to put on earrings but you don't need earrings all the time this is like i'm going to hang out with my friends really last minute like maybe you can go skating yeah yes yep honestly skating in this yeah i feel like this is a good like skating outfit it's exact i would wear this exactly for skating Ooh, there we go there you go you look Long cute in your way. little skate videos like it's a good time what what i'd wear if i were your seventh grade english teacher exactly or art teacher we're not picky around here um i got this blazer because i love heathers the movie the musical i love all renditions of it and this has all the heathers colors and veronica's um, so that's why I got it. <laughs> and then since, like, of course we had to pull from something in it, I have this, like, green tank top. And since, like, Heather Duke is, like, the only brownish one, that's the only one I can identify with. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yeah. And then I got these white pants just because, like, you know, I can't go too crazy with it. You gotta make it a little wearable, you know what I mean? And I feel like it like just makes it a little less chaotic because this jacket is the statement and the piece of the outfit and there's like black in the little squares so I went these vintage like Doc Martin Oxfords that I have and you know I had to have something else kooky so I had these like big ass like cherry earrings and that's the fit would you take my class? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about my outfit then. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> so um, I got this skirt off of eBay because I went through a eBay hyper fixation. Fix <laughs> yep. And I found this skirt and I thought it reminded me of 13 going on 30. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys. I'm gonna put a pause over that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like earthquake. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Anyways, so I thought it was really cool and like a fun pattern. And then it has green in it, and I have this top that's like super flattering. I love all the ruffle detailing, and I have these black cowboy boots on because there's black in the skirt pink bag with the black detailing to match everything else. Do we see a theme? And then the earrings are these like little fairy tale books. They're so freaking cute and precious. And I just really like when earrings are like different. I don't know why. I love asymmetry and this, I'm pretty sure the skirt is asymmetrical. Yeah, it's like a fairy cut bottom. <laughs> I love a fairy cut bottom anything. So yeah, I love this look so much. It's so freaking cute. Like. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm literally the main character in like an early 2000s movie. Like, I'm literally living in New York, fucking the NYC song, you know what I'm saying? I can't sing it because I might get copyrighted. I mean, I don't really monetize my videos because I don't know how, but you know what song I'm talking about. Um, I won't lie to you guys, I kind of messed up on this outfit. I put on the wrong pants, but I'm too lazy to take them off again. It's been like two hours since we first started filming. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. They were both black, so I wouldn't have changed it. Just a little bit. I'm not going to think about it too hard. Or else I will change out of them. Um, I went with the Mary Janes again, just because, like, I feel like I don't wear them enough in life. So I'm just trying to get the maximum use I can out of it. 
And then I wore this white tank top um, I got from Target underneath this uh, fishnet top. I like this one because it has flares at the bottom, you know. And then I am a big proponent of Avril Lavigne fashion. So I say we start wearing ties again as accessories because I think it's really cute. Like, especially like over a t like a t or like a tank, what I'm doing right now, literally what I'm doing right now. Um, I think it looks really cute and fun and I will definitely be wearing this out somewhere. Who knows where? We'll see. And then for the earrings, I have these tunnel vision hoops on, but they're just hoops with like an angel and a devil on them. And that's this fit. You're so welcome. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And I hate that it does that. Hi, I'm Kim, and you're watching Disney Channel. Da, 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 da. I did that pretty good. That? Yeah. I mean, Disney. Anyways. Dude, you gotta go over it, too. <laughs> de, de, I know, de, I wish de, I had the editing de. skills to like, follow my finger <laughs> one day. Um, anyways, this is what I would wear if I had to go to Disneyland tomorrow. Um, I would wear the scarf in the morning because, like, you know, it gets a little chilly. But then, bam, I take it off. I still have a necklace underneath. Crazy. Anyways. <laughs> um, and then I have this super sick Tinkerbell t-shirt. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But, yeah, it's like a Tinkerbell t-shirt. It has the dazzlement on it. It's super cute. And then to match the Tinkerbell theme. Hi, it's me again. I don't like this outfit anymore, so I'm going to cut it off early. Um, I think I don't like it because I think the shirt is like kind of a baby tee fit, and I think I would like to wear looser bottoms just because I think it would look more flattering, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'll feel different in literally two hours, but... At this very moment, I don't like the outfit anymore. Alternatively, if I felt like not in a colorful mood, I would wear the outfit that I wore in the last clip with this Disney tie instead of the um, white and black one. How fun! This is a look, bro! <laughs> Just exactly how I said it. Alright. Anyways, um, Natalie did express very much love for this outfit. Um, strong yeah, affinity yeah well because like I never wear anything like this I would normally would never wear a top like this like I literally my stomach has never seen the motherfucking light of day quite literally I cannot express this to you guys enough um literally my abdomen never had a drop of vitamin D it's kind of insane but like now I'm at a place in my life where I really don't give a fuck like it's literally like it's skin who gives a fuck? Wow. Growth. Growth, guys. <laughs> but I really like this top because I really like the, like, like rose detailing on it. I'll put, a, like, a B-roll, maybe, if I'm feeling feisty. It's currently 12.36 a.m. I'm not feeling feisty. Um, and then I just want to keep it, like, classy with, like, the black. These are the pants that I was going to wear with the fishnets. It's like a slightly different fit, very slightly. Only if you like, if I pointed it out, you would have noticed, you know what I mean? Um, and then I just went with these little like tiny, stupid kitten heels. Well, actually no, these are not kitten heels. These are just full on heels and they have like a little like buckle on them. And then I was like, am I wearing earrings? Yeah, I just have like these little cherub sitting in a heart, little earrings because it's like, I feel like it's really romantic. This necklace I got from Shop Zoe 143 She makes awesome jewelry, and I feel like I always said, um, this is my, like, Lola step from Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen necklace. This is my version of that. And then I just got these little, like, little clips that are, like, roses instead of butterflies. Specifically to match with this. So, I think it's cute. A, a boob could pop out at any second, but I think that's the exciting part about the outfit, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yep. But yeah, I think this is awesome. 
<laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> I think this is awesome. I do. <laughs> Great. Thanks for that insightful is, commentary. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also, probably. I apologize for the like literal various tan lines that you are seeing. Because like I'm, I'm telling you guys, like this area do not see the light. It does not. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna work on it this summer. Okay. We have something to accomplish. <laughs> okay. So this outfit. <laughs> So this outfit, I, we're getting down to the wire. I have three more outfits to film. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I couldn't find the headband, but just imagine I'm wearing a white headband. Are you envisioning it? Great. Imagine that I had the white headband on, matching with the white earrings. And I have this cute little dress on. And, I mean, you can't, you, you're seeing that part, just to be clear. <laughs> um, but I have this, like, cute, like this is 60s or so i think it's 60s dress it's twiggy london it's so sick i got it from buffalo exchange when i worked there and then i would be wearing these boots oh those are cute <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i've only worn this dress once and that was to the last day i worked at buffalo exchange because i feel like it's just such a great dress like it needs a special moment you know what I mean? It's one of those things. But I really like this dress. I'm never getting rid of it ever. And I will literally put on my will that it will always be in my estate. I love it. I'm so sorry I couldn't give you the full fantasy. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite fit. No, I say that about everything. I do like this fit a lot. I, some, I posted this outfit on TikTok. Um... And somebody told me it was giving Bianca from 10 Things I Hate About You. And I was like, oh yeah. Yes, it is. Because that girl knew how to work her way around like a big floral print. And I I really love the big floral print. And then obviously just this jacket to match over it. It's secondhand, but the brand is Valerie Stevens, which is one of the best brands to thrift. Like they do a lot of good basics, like a, base, a lot of good like solid color, solid color things super sick when you go thrifting and then i have these these are also secondhand but they're top shop they're just kind of like wooden clog type of things um maybe I, I would wear this like a wedding you know like i'd be very different <laughs> but i would wear this and then at night time i would just throw my little jacket on it'd be cute someone invite me to their summer wedding i'll, I'll be vaccinated in like two weeks okay so throw me that invite um I have to remind myself what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just like a gold necklace and these retro groovy little orange earrings. Me not remembering the color. And then I have my hair just up in pigtails, which is probably going to be my favorite way to wear my hair this summer. I really like this outfit. I really like the cuffs. It reminds me of like the Unif jacket. Was it Unif? I feel like it was. Um, but I really like how it like sits because it comes over my hands. I don't know, I really focus on like the stupidest silly little details, but it keeps me going. I, are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm building an outfit live because I forgot to do 21 outfits. I only did 20. So I'm just throwing on these cargos because they were just there. Um, and I've been looking for a pair of like good cargos for like a Schmidt knit. And I finally found them. They're a little too long, but I just got a sewing machine. I'm trying to learn how to sew. Honestly, let's do this. I just want to do like a cute little t-shirt and pant moment because I feel like a lot of people when they're starting off in fashion, like you don't even know where to start. You only have jeans and a t-shirt. And I'm going to, this is how I kind of started getting into fashion. So I'm just going to throw on this G.I. Joe, like big ass t-shirt that I have. Um, this is actually the first, like, vintage tee I ever got. I got it at Melrose Trading Post, like, my freshman year of, like, college. And I thought I was the coolest bitch. Okay. Sorry about that. I ran out of storage on my iPhone. Also, sorry for the quality, because I don't have a camera. I don't have money to buy a camera. But we'll get there one day, manifesting. Anyways, it's really all in, like, the accessorizing, I feel like. And just like investing i mean these aren't gold hoops i cannot find my gold hoops for the life of me but just getting like gold hoops silver hoops like a good 
gold and silver necklace that would like you can like have your name you can have your zodiac sign and then getting a bunch of like rings and i've just like collected these over the years you know at random shops like jewelry stores um definitely support like small businesses especially in this time um and swap meets and like yard sales and stuff like that you can find a lot of cool jewelry for really cheap um and then really like you could like put a hat on there like a hat i'm not gonna do that because i have my, my hair in braids like a bucket hat you could throw on like a good pair of like glasses or something like that i mean these ones are busted because i stepped on them but you get the idea and then really like just throw on like a good shoulder bag it's really like just basics to elevate a jeans and a t-shirt and i feel like once you have that down it'll be more inclined to kind of experiment because i know some of the outfits i wear not everyone has the means to do that you definitely have to build up like confidence to get out of your comfort zone and experiment more but like even this it's a subtle flex you know like she did something you know what i mean and then just like a good pair of sneakers air force ones are good but like you can get like different variations there's so many different variations of air force ones like the jesters are my favorite variation of air force ones like their converse has a lot of great chuck taylors right now and just getting like little things that are different like my favorite thing is like these legged chuck taylors they're the same silhouette that we all know and love but they're just a little bit different you know what i mean and i got mine in the leather it's like five dollars more for the leather and it's just another way to simply elevate a look and i hope that was entertaining i hope i helped i hope it was fun and this took a lot of time to film they were not joking and i could only imagine if i didn't plan the outfits beforehand but thank you for watching this I hope it was mildly entertaining and I hope that I keep making videos because it was low-key really fun. I had a good time. Great. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>